This video purports to show ethnic Uyghurs fighting for Islamic State in Iraq. They threatened to return home to China and shed what they call rivers of blood. Analysts say the propaganda is part of IS attempts to fight back in the face of heavy losses in Iraq and Syria. If it's able to stay it's fighting forwards, it's got these groups of people from all over the world who are there fighting alongside them to ultimately return home and do horrible things there, then you know, you're painting a much stronger narrative and one which the group wants to project. The video invokes allegations that Beijing persecutes the majority Muslim Uyghurs in the western province of Xinjiang. China tightly controls access to the region, so verifying reports of attacks is difficult. At least two potential attacks so far and a number of other sort of odd incidents taking place. And we've seen the, the government, uh, the governor in Xinjiang province actually having a very heavy sort of clampdown and a very visible escalation of the sort of security presence in the region, all of which suggests that China is increasingly concerned about the problems related to terrorism and extremism, and clearly IS is part of that picture. Islamic State may be a common enemy, but there has been little coordination between China and the global coalition fighting the group, says analyst Mathieu Duchatel, who spoke to VOA via Skype from Paris. China wants support from Western states uh, on its policies in Xinjiang. Uh, China considers that um, the anti-terror or counter-terror efforts that it is leading in Xinjiang are not being endorsed by countries in the West. And um, the response um, in Europe, at least, is that uh, there is a lack of transparency. Earlier this month, Chinese President Xi Jinping hosted leaders of minority groups in Beijing, promoting an image of ethnic harmony. But human rights groups accused China of oppressing the Uyghur population. In turn, Beijing accuses the West of double standards. Terrorism, um, extremism and separatism are put together in the same basket. China has adopted a new law allowing military deployments overseas on anti-terror missions, but working alongside either Western or Russian forces against Islamic State remains unlikely. The long-standing approach to terrorist risks for China has been to avoid attracting too much attention and becoming a target. Duchatel says that approach may change as Chinese citizens are exposed to a greater terror risk across the globe. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London.